How's it going everybody? Have another battery review for you. This time we're talking about the Rododo 38.4 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And I am a big fan of these 36 volt batteries. Uh, let me just kind of maybe start there of why would you use a 36 volt battery? One, you may be doing a solar setup or maybe in an RV or something. Two, you may have a 36 volt trolling motor. Um, depending on the configuration of your boat, you may not have enough space for three batteries, three 12 volt batteries to make up 36 volts. Or maybe it's just really tight and you wanna have more room. A uh, 36 volt battery gives you a lot of flexibility there of where you can take out, ideally three batteries, put in one, hook up two wires, and you are ready to go at a 36 volt setup. That's where something like this comes in. And let me sling it over here, there we go. Um, this is the Rodoto 36 38.4 nominal 50 amp hour battery. First, let's start with, is 50 amp hours enough? That is maybe a question only you can answer. However, I like to explain it to people in this manner. If you went out to Walmart, wherever you buy your batteries, and you bought three brand new deep cycle batteries, they're good for about 50 amp hours a piece. So when you math that out, that's 36 volts at 50 amp hours. This is the same energy as three brand new deep cycle lead acid batteries. If that works for you today, that will work for you in this configuration. Now you may say, I want to have more than that. That's not enough. I run in the Mississippi River with major current. You can run two of these in parallel and you would double that. That's essentially having six brand new lead acid deep cycle batteries on your boat in 33 pounds a piece. So good luck doing this with uh, three deep cycle batteries uh, that are lead acid. That's not gonna happen. All right, so let's maybe go down that path for a little bit. Let's talk about weight. Uh, like I mentioned, this guy's 33 pounds. If you went to whatever store and you bought those three deep cycle lead acid batteries, they're 50 pounds a pop. Let me uh, get my calculator out here, make sure I'm doing my math right. So I've got 150 pounds for three lead acid batteries. This guy weighs 33, that's 117 pound savings out of the stern of your boat right there, which is good. Um, anytime you can make a vessel lighter, it has the opportunity to perform better. You may need to adjust the height of your motor. You may want to shift some weight off the bow, some tackle back in this newfound space that you have in the stern of the boat, redistribute that weight. Don't add weight to the stern to make up for it. Um, so that is, you know, the opportunity there when it comes to a uh, 36 volt battery. Cycle life is also fantastic. 4,000 plus cycles at an 80% depth of discharge. You can take these batteries all the way down to zero. Lots and lots and lots of life here. Make sure you're charging it, right? Link a video up here. So if you're interested in how I charge my batteries and what kind of some recent studies say, I'll put a link up there for you to check out. Maybe, maybe you'll check it out after this video as well. Um, that is that price point. Um, let's talk about the performance of it. So it is rated at 50 amps, 50 amp hours. Um, I did do a capacity test on it, fully charged up, let those cells balance, pull the capacity test on it, just over 52 amp hours pulled out of it. So you're able to pull that full amount, you know, just as it's stating here, so that's good. Um, you definitely, you know, want to get what you paid for and then any type of uh, degradation down the road, you're already starting ahead at 52 amp hours, which is fantastic. How do you charge one of these? You need a 36 volt charger. That's one of the complications when it comes to going to a 36 volt battery is you can't just take whatever charger came in your boat, put all three wires together and make 36 volts. You need a 36 volt charger. Um, I've been using the, I'm gonna say it wrong, Shiraziki charger. I think it's a 43.6, what's the charge on this? 43.2 plus or minus 0.6 volts. So it's a 43.8. Let's talk about battery management features. Always want to touch on that. So it has all your fundamental uh, feature set when it comes to battery management systems. It's got a short circuit protection. You drop your wrench on two of them. Um, you're going to have to probably wake the battery up with, a, with your charger, but it will protect itself. It has a max continuous charge current of 1C or 50 amps, max continuous discharge current of 50 amps. It will take up to 60 amps for 30 minutes. So if you're running your trolling motor on super, super fast, it can pull more than 50 amps uh, for up to 30 minutes. Surge discharge at 250 amps for one second. Uh, rated for 120 pound thrust trolling motor. Not exactly sure how they did the math there, but that's, that's a rating there to keep in mind. It is IP65 rated and it's in a group 31 size package. I forgot to mention that. So, you know, you've got your varying sizes of batteries. This is a group 31, which is your traditional 
you know, heavy duty deep cycle battery size and footprint. Um, the other thing in the BMS are the battery management system. So it's got uh, low voltage, high voltage protection, over current protection, like it says 60, 60 amps for up to 30 minutes. And then also it has low temperature, low temp uh, is low temperature charge protection. So if you try to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery below freezing, this is not like that. And you can damage the cells permanently. This has a self protection where it's monitoring the temperature of the cells. So it will cut off that charge current, help protect them from lithium plating. So that's kind of a self protection mode also built into the BMS, which is a good thing to have. Um, all that said, the performance wise, the battery's been fantastic. You know, love the lithium iron phosphate chemistries. I'll have links down below in the description. Please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.